Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I'll teach you how to make this super hex here. And the first thing that you have to do is print the template, the link will be in the description below. And I printed this template on a 220 scale, but if you want to do smaller, uh, it's up to you. Uh, and yeah, now let's get started. Oh yeah. You must start by placing all the sheets together in order to form the same design you saw on my Facebook page. To help you on this process, you may use the background design as a guide. Use a pair of scissors to individualize each part of the template. This will make the next steps much easier. Glue the different parts of the template on a paper board, such as this one. If you have some old cardboard boxes at home, you may use them, otherwise just buy a paper board such as this one. They are pretty cheap. At first I began by using glue stick, but I used up too fast, so I suggest you use white glue instead because it's much cheaper and will last longer. Cut out each piece very carefully using an exacto knife. If you are still a kid, ask an adult for help. Crease the line using a ruler or do it on the table edge instead. Now you only have to place everything together very carefully using a hot glue gun just like this one. Before sticking both sides of the blade together it's really important that you use some paper tape and do as I'm doing right now. This will help you to keep everything in the right place. To make the X handle I used a PVC pipe and then I placed several thin paper rolls around it. If you don't want to go through all this work, you may cut a piece of wood instead. Glue small pieces of newspaper around your eggs using a brush. The mix I used is basically PVA and some water, but if you want you can use just PVA. Once the glue has dried, paint your eggs black using spray paint. Don't forget to use a suitable mask. To make it look like a wooden handle, I used the hot glue gun to create some texture on it. To create a metallic effect, use some golden and silver painting and spread it on top of the eggs using an old sponge, such as the one I'm using. The next step is to paint the handle using some dark brown painting. Then use some golden painting to cover the rudeness created by the hot glue.
Now you may grab an old pelt and warp it around the handle. It's really important that you let the glue dry before going for another twist. To protect your eggs, you must buy a can of protective spray and apply it all over the eggs. So, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this project, if you have any suggestion, you can leave in the comments below. And yeah, thanks for watching again, bye! Yeah! <laughs>